Welcome back to my nursery. So I am doing a Halloween video today. As I said, I wanted to come back and do a happy mail video. And the happy mail I got is definitely fitting for the season for today. So I purposely waited until Halloween to open this happy mail. And also I wanted to bring a baby on well i have a few babies on the bed as you can see one behind me right here that's miracle and then in the car seat back here that's little rosie by paradise galleries my little preemie silicone baby and then if i swing you around you'll see the other babies there the ones that are in halloween attire which is my Gabby Gel twins, Grayson, Gail, and Naya Grace over here. And then on the boppy back there, you can barely see him. That is Leo by Cassie Brace on the boppy. And then I also have another baby I'm going to pick up right now. I just had to have a drink before the video because I started coughing as I was about to hit record. So I was like, let me drink something before I even try to start the video. But here is my little guy and he will be the baby that I will be feeding and changing on this video. So this is little Malik. And he is Pascal by Cassie Brace. No, he's not. <laughs> I have Cassie Brace on my brain because I just said Leo by Cassie Brace. Scratch that. He is Pascal by Joanna Kazmerzak. And he is painted and rooted by me. And I absolutely love this teeny little boy so much. You guys know that watch my channel. He is like one of my favorites in my nursery and has been since I painted him. I want to say it's been at least a year, I'm thinking, since I painted this baby and nothing has changed. Like I'm just more and more drawn to him as the time goes. Like I wouldn't even mind have had like having two of this baby. That's how much I love it. I love his size and his little newborn face. Like he just looks so newborn, this baby. I love that. And he fits newborn clothes, but he, like some people can mistake him as a preemie size baby, but I feel like he is newborn. I also brought him on because he was, was requested by a dolly sis in the community to see him so that's why i also said i'll just bring him on in this video and i've been wanting to change him out of this sleeper because he was i think he was one of the first babies i changed on october 1st into something for fall so he's had this sleeper on since the first of the month it has like the little um fall pumpkins on there and it's not a Halloween sleeper. It's more of a fall sleeper. It has like the little acorns on there and different fall colors. So I wanted to change him out of this. But I'm going to actually put him into something for Halloween. Believe it or not, on Halloween, I'm going to change him. Um, and usually I don't change babies for Halloween on Halloween because I feel like then they miss the whole month and they didn't get, they're not going to get to wear it. But for today and then by tomorrow's November 1st, he needs to get changed again. But I'm going to just go ahead and change him. So anywho, after all that rambling, let's feed him a little bit. It is his feeding time. So we are using our Playtex Nursa. And it is one of 
Well, it's not the oldest ones because the oldest Playtex nurses had more of the other kind of nipples, the rubber nipples on it. But this one is kind of old too. I believe this was my, my last baby's bottle and she is now 16. So I've had this bottle that long. <laughs> so he is going to drink out of it. I love these kind of nurses for reborns because their mouths aren't open. But because the nipples are wide and soft, it fits right up to their mouth. You can kind of just smash the nipple in. And that's what I like about them because they look like they're drinking, but they're not. So anyway, if you're new to my nursery, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell um, so you'll be notified whenever I do new videos. I've been really trying lately. If you guys that watch me regular notice, I've been trying to put my videos up more consistently, more often closer together not disappearing for you know the whole week and then come back the next week and put up a video i've been trying not to do that i've been really trying since i'm more settled now into my new house and you know things are calm and back to normal i can put my videos up a little more regular and now my granddaughter is older so i can also you know, do my videos more regular. And I've definitely been trying, even though I'm painting and rooting hair and all of that, I still try to squeeze in days during the week where I can do a video to enjoy my dolls, you know, for myself too, not just where I'm constantly painting dolls, rooting dolls, shipping dolls out and all of that and then i don't get to actually enjoy my hobby enjoy my dolls for myself so i'm trying to like find that balance between painting rooting selling dolls but also enjoying my dolls for myself too and i did not want to lose that as i'm painting dolls more vinyl and silicone the one thing I never, ever wanted to lose was the time that I have, you know, where I can ju just get to sit down and enjoy my dolls, do a video, or sometimes even off camera where I'm not painting, where I want to just sit down, watch TV, or watching y'all's videos and, you know, sit down and hold one of my babies and just relax. I never want to lose that because then it's like, the hobby becomes basically work and there's no enjoyment or it's not really a hobby when you don't find the time to actually enjoy the dolls when you start painting them. If you're not careful, you can just lose your hobby and it becomes all about work and painting and painting and rooting and rooting and selling you know, and you, you, you'll lose that time with your dolls to enjoy them the hobby becomes no more hobby. It's just work. So I have always been kind of conscious of that since I started painting dolls. And I always try not to let it get to that point. And it can easily get to that point when you're trying to sell dolls to make extra income. Um, it definitely can take over where you don't have a hobby anymore. So for me, I'm trying not to let it get like that. So I definitely still love my babies, love, you know, holding them, feeding them. I love the relaxation it gives me. Definitely is a stress re reliever when I'm holding these babies and looking at them <laughs> and feeding them. It relieves your stress for me anyway. It's, it gives me that downtime that I still, you know, need at times where I don't want to paint right now. I don't want to root anybody's hair right now. I just wanted to hold my babies and do a video and talk to you guys for a few minutes. Get, you know, take a breath, take a seat for a minute and just come and share my happy mail and share my babies and you know, just kind of enjoy the hobby. Like every now and then I need time to enjoy the hobby. And I find that a lot of the, the artists used to be collectors. 
And once they started painting and became artists, they, they're no longer like on the collecting side. They don't have time anymore, you know, to just enjoy the dolls and collect them. And, you know, like that part gets lost for a lot of um, artists once they start painting the dolls. And I've heard so many of them say that, you know, they don't get to enjoy their dolls. Even with selling the dolls, when you start painting them, you begin to like, like I was saying in my last video, you don't know which dolls are yours anymore. Like, am I going to keep this one or is it for sale? <laughs> so that's what it becomes about, you know, the selling can easily just take over the hobby for you. And it gets kind of confusing sometimes. Like, okay, which baby is mine? Now, like this baby, I painted him, I rooted him, he's mine. I won't sell him. As a matter of fact, somebody asked me recently, like a day or two ago, if I ever sell him to let them know. This baby, I will not sell it. May I won't say ever. Maybe one day I'll be like ready to let him go or something, but I don't see that in the near future. As I can see, I don't want to sell him. Like, no. No, he he definitely he is my little Malik Pascal. That's what I call him. And he is definitely a keeper. Look at him. Even his hair, like it just looks just like a real baby's hair would look in the back when they are always laying on it. Like he just looked like a real little new, fresh newborn baby to me. But anyway. I'm going to put him in his little changing basket and I'm going to change him. I'm trying to think, should I do the happy meal first or change him first? I don't know. And let's see, what other babies do I have that I could say are mine? This little one back here, Miracle, definitely. I painted and rooted her, Miracle by Laura Lee Eagles. She's a keeper. She's mine. I would not sell her. Um, Rosie back here in the little, um, car seat by Paradise Gallery. She's mine. I wouldn't sell her. And who else? My Grayson Gale right here. My Gabby Gale boy. I painted and rooted him. He's a keeper. He's mine. Naya Grace is painted by, uh, Gladys Reborn Nursery. I didn't paint her. She's the Gabby Yellow Awake girl. I would not sell her. Also, somebody recently asked about me selling her. You know, if I decide to, to let them know. Um, I would, I don't want to sell her either. Like, she's a keeper. So, there's like certain babies I have where I can definitely say no. They, they, I didn't paint them to sell. Even if I could paint another one, I just still want the one I have. It's mine's. All right, so I'm thinking, huh, I guess I will change the baby first and then show the happy mail. Yeah, I'll do it like that. We'll do it like that. And I hope I don't knock this camera down. And please, everyone, give the video a like. Hit that like button for me, please. While I'm reminding you. The likes definitely help our videos to circulate on YouTube. When we, the more likes we get, it does help out our channel. It helps out the videos to be suggested to other viewers to watch. So the more likes we get, it does help our videos. Sharing our videos also helps to grow our channel. So please share on your other social media platforms with friends and family that may like dolls also also please share so when i get to 5000 subscribers i'm almost getting there slowly but surely um i'm going to be doing a 5000 subscriber appreciation giveaway where it will be a vinyl reborn that i paint and i We'll give it away with a box opening. I will pay for shipping and everything. 
and so once we get to 5,000 subscribers that is the plan um I won't be doing it exactly at 5,000 subscribers I don't think so because I do have to still paint that baby and finish it so it may be a little over 5,000 but at some point when we get to 5,000 that that giveaway will be happening um so make sure you're subscribed if you're possibly interested in getting a vinyl reborn you know winning one being in the, the running to win one for free that is painted by me as you're looking at one right here that's painted by me the baby that i'm going to give away most likely will be in an ethnic skin tone as well it may not be exactly this baby skin tone, but somewhere in this, you know, in this skin tone could be a little bit darker. But this is his little belly plate, which I also love. It is a half belly plate. So he is cloth body under there. And then he has the half belly plate. It's gender neutral, so it can be for a boy or a girl. I'm going to change his diaper into this little newborn pamper. So the dolly sis that um, wanted to see him, she's painting one for her, her own collection right now. Congratulations to her. And she had been, she said, was watching my videos with this little guy. And she fell in love with the, with this particular kit. And so she wanted to know, because she said as she got hers, it, he looked so small. And she was saying on my videos, my baby looks big, you know, bigger. And, and it is like that on video, the babies look so big. And then when you actually get it in person or see it in person, you'd be like, wow, it's so small. So this baby might look big on camera, but he is pretty small. He is a newborn size. She was wondering, is he preemie size? I wouldn't say he's preemie size, though. He is more of a, a new, true newborn size to me. He is definitely, his little diaper is so cute on him. He's definitely a newborn size baby. I would say because if you tried to put him in a preemie outfit, it's, it's going to be too tight. Now, some newborn sizes on him could be big, a little roomy, but I think it looks cute because most newborn babies, they clothes be roomy when they're first born. So that's what it reminds me of when it's a little roomy. But I would prefer him in newborn than in preemie. So I'm not going to dress him up too much. He's just going to get this little onesie that says my first Halloween and it's a cream color and I really wanted to put this on him. I had seen it earlier when I was looking through my holiday clothes and he just looks so newborn and this onesie just is cute to put on a newborn, just the onesie and some little booties and not like dress them up. So I was like, I'm gonna put him in this even though it's already Halloween today I should have been put him in this, but I just seen it today. I forgot I even had this. So I was like, even though he can only wear it for today, I'm going to put it on him because it just looks newborn-ish and he is definitely very newborn. And he will look so cute with just a little onesie on because he's been in that sleep for the whole month. And you know, sometimes how you just want the baby in a onesie so you could see their legs and stuff. So that's why I want to put him in this. Just put it right over his other onesie. So this onesie he's putting on is a newborn size. And the sleeper I just took him out of is a newborn size. And they're both Carters. So you can just get an idea for that sis that wanted to see him and see what size he wears. He does fit newborn. You see how it's a little roomy, but it fits him. Now, I took out this outfit. I'm not going to try to put this on him because I know he can't fit this. But this is a little preemie outfit for Thanksgiving. And 
to me, he probably could fit this, but I would think it's going to be a tight squeeze putting him on this on him. And then these little, these are the little pants. Like, I don't know. Let's try the pants just for the heck of it. Let's see. Because these little preemie pants, they are pretty little. But just so she could see, because she probably wants to nest for her baby while she's painting him. Just so she could know what size to get. I wouldn't get preemie for this baby. I mean, you might could squeeze him into a preemie, but I would, I, for me, I prefer him in newborn size. But it depends on how you like your baby's clothes to fit. For me, these little pants would be too tight, in my opinion. They almost too short, too. But he squeezes into them. So you can just see, he squeezed his little fat butt into them. But to me, that just looks too small. <laughs> and that's how he fits preemie pants. Just to give her idea. So for me, I prefer little Malik Pascal in, you know, in newborn size. He has more room in it. It's not squeezing him all up. He looks more comfortable. And I feel like he is definitely a true newborn size baby. Even if he has just a little room in the outfit. So that was for her. She wanted to see him and see what size he wears. And for anybody else who likes this baby, I hope you enjoy seeing him. And I'm going to just put these little um, jack-o'-lantern booties on him to match his little onesie. I have a hat too that goes with the booties, but I didn't really want to cover up his hair which I had sprayed his hair and it's kind of wet. So I have plastic underneath his hair right now. All right, so now he's all changed and we are going to, and happy Halloween to those who celebrate Halloween. I'm gonna put the camera back up if I can get it up without knocking it over. Um. So this is my happy mail in this beautiful floral bag. And then this is also part of the happy mail. And this happy mail is from a Dolly sis in the community, Shelly. Thank you to her for this beautiful happy mail. Thank you for thinking of me. And I wanted to share it on video. So here's the card, it says thank you. And then in the card, it has this magnet that says it's Ohio and it goes on the refrigerator. And she is from Ohio, that's why I got the magnet from there. Um, it says, hi Erica, I want to thank you for the joy that you bring to this hobby, especially during the time that I was blessed to still have my mom watching with me love enjoy and it says Shelly thank you so much and I do remember when her and her mother used to watch my videos together and she would comment or message me and her mother would like to watch my videos may she rest in peace so that is the card let's open this one first and it is a beautiful blanket, which I can never have enough blankets. Like, I love baby blankets. And this one is so pretty with these little bumblebees on there and flowers. And I do not have a blanket with bumblebees on it, I don't think. So this is perfect. I'm pretty sure I have outfits with bumblebees, but no blanket. So that is really pretty. Thank you for that. And it's so soft. And I can never have too many blankets. And then next, she kind of gave me an idea to what she was sending. So I saved it to open it today on Halloween because it is sweet treats. This is one of those big lollipops. Remember these, the rainbow lollipops when we were kids? 
So she lives in Ohio and in Ohio, there is this big candy factory, I guess, or candy store. And she said she was gonna send me and my kids some candies back from when she was a kid that you hardly a lot of these candies you don't see in the stores anymore and i do remember these like it has the pads in there that used to go in those little like machines and it has um jolly jelly belly um jelly beans the fun dip remember that it's so bad for you but i remember loving to eat that the bubble gum, like all of these, the Tootsie Pops. So these are those candies from way back when that you don't find all the time anymore. So she had went there and she said she was gonna send me some candy. So I saved it for today on Halloween. Remember lemon heads and the red hots? Like all of these candies, I remember growing up eating them. Airheads, Laffy Taffy, like forget it. And that's why I had so many cavities. Sour patches in there. So I figured I'd open them and share them with my kids today on Halloween. Cause my kids love some candy. I'm telling you, they love candy. All of them, just about. And then this one, Sweetie Candy. Not sure. I think this one is chocolate. Then we have, oh, wow, Jiffy Pop. I remember having this, and you used to pop it. Like, you sit the little pan right on the owl on the stove and pop it. So, and I was telling my kids the other day I need to buy some microwave popcorn because I love that popcorn and I don't have any. So now we have some popcorn. Maybe I'll pop that tonight and we can eat it and watch a, a scary movie. Because <laughs> we aren't going out to any Halloween parties or trick-or-treating. My kids are too old for trick-or-treating now. So we'll probably watch a movie or something and eat some of this candy and popcorn. And this one, oh, remember those little necklaces where you eat the candy off the necklace? I used to love those. Like, it has all of those old candies in there. Look at that, bazooka bubble gum. Remember that? For those of you who might be around my age, then you will remember those candies. <laughs> she has a little bit of everything in here. Sugar babies, I remember those. Pumpkin seeds, oh my gosh. And they so salty and you eat them, your lips be white by the time you finish eating them. I remember those and what else? Popcorn, it's like, um, I guess it's candy popcorn where it's shaped like a, a baseball, but it's popcorn. And it's more of those. I will give them to my kids. <laughs> and my granddaughter, her mother doesn't want her to eat candy, but every now and then I sneak and give her a little taste of candy. That's so bad of me. And she likes candy too, but her mother does not want her to have cavities, so she don't want her eating candy. But grandma going to let her taste a little bit of candy today. These, these are those little... Um, it's bubble gum, but I think these used to be shaped like cigarettes, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if this is going to be cigarettes. They probably don't sell stuff like that anymore, do they? That was kind of bad, but I remember those. They were like cigarettes, but they were candy. Yes, it's still like that, you guys. It's, it's supposed to be, <laughs> it's, bu it's bubble gum, but it's like a cigarette. That's not a good idea nowadays, but they still must sell it because it was part of the candies we used to have back then. So I think she said it's like the biggest candy factory or store in the U.S. I think that's what she said. It says to Erica from Shelly, fun memories. And it is like it's, remem it's reminding me of all 
of the candies and stuff I enjoyed as a child. And I do remember this thing too. It like has a parachute on the back of it. Little plastic man figure. So thank you so much, Shelly, for all of the goodies. I will be sharing and showing these to my kids. Half of these candies, they don't know anything about like candy cigarettes. They know nothing about that type of stuff. <laughs> they don't sell stuff like that anymore. But thank you so much for all the goodies. I really appreciate that. That is, this was perfect, like the perfect um, Halloween happy mail. So thank you again. Happy Halloween to everyone. Enjoy your Halloween for those of you who do celebrate it. And believe it or not, tomorrow is November 1st. So I've already started taking out my Christmas decorations. Like this week, I already started taking stuff out for Christmas. Moving right on to the next thing. That's how you got to do it because everything passed by so quick. You got to start right away. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your evening. Take care. Bye -bye.